Do you know how to add and subtract radicals? When we talk about radicals, adding and subtracting them, we're looking at radical expressions that look like this. 3 square roots of 3 plus 4 square roots of 3. Do you know how to add these? Well, the first thing to notice is the square roots of 3 are common. We can say that these are like terms. And in order to add or subtract radical expressions, the terms have to be alike. So in this case, we have like terms, so we can bring the square root of 3 right over into our answer. Now we add the number parts. 3 plus 4 is 7, and our answer is 7 square roots of 3. Here's another one. We have 5 square roots of 5 minus 3 square roots of 5. Again, these square roots of 5 are alike. Those are our like terms. We bring the square root of 5 into our answer. Now we have 5 take away 3, which is 2. 2 square roots of 5 is our solution. What happens if we don't have like terms? How do we add and subtract radical expressions? when the terms aren't alike. 3 square roots of 20 plus 6 square root of 5. Now, these terms are not alike. We have to find a way to make them alike. In order to do that, we're going to break down the 20 square root of 20 into two smaller square roots, hoping that when we do that, we can find something that is common with the square root of 5 to have like terms. Let's factor the square root of 20. We can factor it into the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. Ah, now we have a like term here. What about the square root of 4? Can we simplify that? We can. We can simplify that to 2. So the square root of 20 becomes 2 square roots of 5. Now that we've simplified the square root of 20, we need to put this back into the original problem. Let's look at how we do that. The 3 was here from before. Now we can add times 2 square roots of 5 plus 6 square root of 5. We multiply 3 times 2, which gives us 6 square root of 5 plus 6 square root of 5. Now notice we have like terms. We bring the square root of 5 over into our answer, and we add 6 plus 6, which gives us 12 square root of 5, and this is our answer. Let's look at another one. 14 square root of 3 minus 4 square root of 12. Again, notice that we don't have like terms. Let's factor the square root of 12 into two factors. We can do that with the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Now, right away you can notice that the square root of 3 and the square root of 3 are alike. The square root of 4 simplifies again to 2. So the square root of 12 simplifies to 2 square root of 3. Now let's put that back into the original problem. Here's what we have. 14 square root of 3 minus 4 times 2 square root of 3. We need to take care of this first. 4 times 2 is 8. So over here we have 8 square root of 3. Now we can bring this part down, the 14 square root of 3. So we have 14 square root of 3 minus 8 square root of 3. Here are our like terms. That comes over into our answer. 14 minus 8, here's the number parts we're working with, is 6. Our answer is 6 square root of 3.